Whoa, 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 whoa. We pull it? What's up? It's Jimfro from Ready Check Pull, and this is our guide to Mythic Shriekwing and Castle Nathria. A big thank you to all of our supporters on Patreon. We honestly can't thank you enough. Apologies for my voice. I've been talking a whole lot these last few days. All right, so there's only one notable change from Heroic to Mythic for Shriekwing. The circles that shoot out from the boss, those are invisible now, unless you have a debuff from this new Blood Lantern that you can pick up and move around. The Lantern applies a debuff in a super short 4 yard range when it's on the ground, but when someone's carrying it, the range is extended to 14 yards. So all you have to do is stay close together and have someone pick up the Lantern when the circles are coming out and you're good to go. Alright, good luck and see you next time. Nah, just kidding, we can help you out with more than that. So the debuff you get from the lantern also does dot damage to you, and it stacks up the longer you're in the lantern's range. This is what prevents you from just holding the lantern the entire fight. The debuff also stays on you for a few seconds after leaving the lantern's range, so that gives you some flexibility in seeing the circles without constantly being near the lantern and gaining stacks. The other important thing about the lantern is that it explodes if it gets hit by an echolocation or one of the circles. This explosion does a ridiculous amount of damage to the entire raid, fears everyone, and spawns really annoying ads, so it's most likely a wipe if this happens. With all that in mind, we recommend assigning one person to handle the lantern. It doesn't really matter if it's melee, ranged, or a healer, just someone that understands the idea. In general, this player should put the lantern on the ground slightly away from the group so that no one is in its 4 yard range, and then when you need to dodge the circles, that person picks up the lantern while everyone else just follows them around. By the way, they have to right click the lantern to pick it up, and then they can use the extra action ability to target a spot on the ground they want to throw it to. Now here's the plan, lust on pull and tank the boss like this, slightly away from the pillars, with the tanks on one side and the entire rest of the raid on the opposite side to bait the circles while the assigned player places the lantern slightly away to avoid unnecessary debuff stacks. As soon as the boss starts casting Echoing Screech, which sends out the circles, immediately pick up the lantern while everyone else swings to the opposite side of the boss. Once you get to the other side, drop the lantern slightly out of range again and dodge any remaining circles. Easy enough, and this only happens twice in each main phase. The intermission is exactly like Heroic, but again, you can't see any circles without the lantern, so the entire raid should stay grouped up and follow the lantern player around the room. The lantern player just needs to drop the lantern when safe to limit the debuff stacks on the raid. Dodge the circles at all cost, because getting hit by one near the lantern is probably a wipe. Once the intermission is over, go back to where you started the fight, or you can do the same thing on the entrance side of the room if you're already over there. Coming out of the intermission is likely going to be a great spot to use healer cooldowns and other raid cooldowns like AMZ from Death Knights to get through the damage from all the debuff stacks. Rinse and repeat, and that's pretty much it. Alright, so here's a quick recap on screen. Feel free to screenshot it as a reminder. There's a link to our mythic document in the description that has any timers or other details that we think are important, so check that out. If you have any questions for Zax and I, check out our streams, and join our discord to keep up with everything Ready Check Pull. Peace.